Hi again, Mark here from TalkingBase.net. Uh, this lesson is just a quickie covering position shifts and how to make them a lot smoother. When you move up and down the neck playing scale patterns or pretty much anything that moves fairly quickly, uh, you'll find yourself having to jump from one anchored position to another, sometimes several in one move, and if you can't cover them smoothly, the lines will end up sounding uh, scrappy and disjointed. Now, pianists are the kings of uh, position shifting. Uh, playing even basic scales or arpeggios requires a quick, smooth movement, uh, and they'll practice that skipping over the uh, fingers with the thumb until you can't hear the jump. Now, as bassists, we need to practice jumping varying amounts from uh, any of the fingers to any of the other fingers. And I've got a fairly simple exercise that covers all these permutations. So let's start with the one-two combination. If we play that pattern and then move up a fret to play the same pattern again, we end up with the following. You can play that exercise up and then back down, and you can play it round and round and round. So we end up with the following. Okay. Now you want to break this movement down and look at the jump from the second finger back to the first finger. So if you have any problems uh, making this skipping motion, just isolate it and practice that movement until it becomes smooth. Okay, so the whole pattern. Okay, you want to start slowly and gradually build up in speed and only move up in tempo when you feel completely comfortable and the exercise feels pretty much too easy. Okay? Now we can move on to the other permutations. To save time, I'll quickly run through the patterns, uh, but you can watch the lesson back or download the PDF that I've provided in the comments below if you have any problems remembering it. So the whole exercise is as follows. First of all, one-two combination. One-three. One four, two three, two four, finally three four. Okay. Once we've nailed this exercise, we can make it a little harder by jumping a tone between the two patterns. Uh, with the 1-2 pattern, this will be as follows. Okay. Uh, when you do it, notice that I'm jumping the space of two frets. Uh, so once again, isolate the jump if you find it too hard. So it'd be... That's the jump. So through the whole exercise again, one, two, one, three, one, four, two, three, two, four, finally, three, four. As an extension to this exercise, we can work across the strings too. Uh, you need to change the rhythm slightly to make it work in a simple meter, and the exercise becomes like this. That's one, two. That's a 1-3, and so on, through the whole set of the combinations. Bear in mind that this mindless exercise is only for isolating the skips and building an awareness of the technical requirements. Uh, there's no substitute for using a more musical or useful real-world pattern. Uh, so for that, we can use a good old C major scale pattern. First of all, we'll take the major scale just on one string. Uh, we'll use uh, a C major scale pattern starting on the second finger, uh, and we'll do it on the A string, just as an example. And the jumps between the patterns uh, will be the patterns that you would normally use for each string, uh, which will make more sense as I play it. So here's the pattern. Okay, 
down. So up and down. Okay. Before building any speed to this, you want to aim for precision and smooth transition. You want to limit the sound of movement, like the swish of the string, uh, and that means quickly moving at the last millisecond before the jump. And you want to raise the finger just enough to avoid a slide. So again with the same pattern. Okay, so when you make the move, if you have a problem with it, just isolate the jump itself. Okay. Now let's try something a little different, a chromatic scale on the same string. Uh, this is a really easy pattern to learn because it's simply every note along the string from the tonic, in this case C, to the octave up there. Uh, use the finger in one, two, three, four, over and over as you go up. And that gives us the following. Okay. You want to use the first finger for the octave and the tonic. Uh, which gives you a really quick turnaround on this top note, so you have to be careful. So again. Okay. Okay, the last exercise I'm going to use is a basic two octave major scale pattern, moving across the strings. So let's use a G major scale for this example uh, to give a, a fairly large stretch and jump. So the pattern is just as follows. Okay. So we have two jumps to make in this. Uh, the scale makes a repeat of itself once it gets to the octave with the same second finger starting pattern. So the jump is between the seventh and the octave and then the fifth and the sixth in the upper octave. So use the PDF pattern uh, for the pattern and the fingering. So one more time. There's the jump to the second finger. Then when we get up to the fifth, there's the other jump up to the first finger. And the same coming down with exactly the same fingering. Okay. Okay, I hope that helps a little with making these position shifts. Once again, please like this video and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're on my website, www.talkingbass.net, please subscribe to keep up to date with new lessons and articles as I release them every week. Okay, see you later.